Bros vs. Pros returns next Saturday, December 5th, 2015 at Diamond Gym in Maplewood, New Jersey. Officially slated as Bros vs. Pros 25, the John Kempa Memorial 3. Lifts will include the bench press for reps, 225 for the men, 60% of body weight for the women, and the deadlift for reps, 315 for the men, 165 for the women, plus a one rep max deadlift super liftoff. The IFBB Pro Bodybuilders will be represented by the BK Beast himself, Akeem Williams, on the men's side, and women's physique pro and defending bros vs. pros champ, Eric Aguera for the women. If you think you can outlift all the pros and the bros, show up on Saturday, December 5th at 12 noon at Diamond Gym and lay it on the line for a chance to win $2,000 in cash prizes. The entire event will be live streamed exclusively at rxmuscle.com. Show up! Bros! Bros vs. Bros! Bros vs. Bros! Bros vs. Bros! Welcome to Muscle in the Morning, brought to you by Iron Mag Labs. Make your mark. I'm Dave Palumbo, and today is Wednesday, November 2nd, 2015. Let's find out what's going on in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. With all the newfound training theories floating around the internet about time under tension and whatever other new flavor of the month happens to be capturing everyone's attention, sometimes it's easy to forget what built so many great physiques in the sports history high intensity, heavy weights. But over the weekend, Derek Farnsworth released some video from a recent leg training session where we see bodybuilding's pocket Hercules destroying five plates for reps alongside friend and longtime training partner Pete Ciccone. 2015 was arguably the most successful season of Farnsworth's decade-long pro career. And at 40 plus years old, he's still as strong as he's ever been and isn't showing even an inkling of slowing down. If you're looking to find an early candidate for 2016 Comeback Athlete of the Year, Antoniel Champagnier might be a good place to start. After suffering through a series of injuries that derailed his career for the past two years, the man many once thought to be a future star in the sport is back and better than ever. Champagnier has been spotted in the gym slinging around heavy weights and looking absolutely massive lately as he prepares to mount a furious comeback to the stage. When he's at his best, Champagne has the sort of shape and lines most competitors can only dream of. And if he can find the formula to bring all that new muscle to the stage accompanied by crisp, dry conditioning, he'll be well on his way to rejuvenating his once promising career. Improvement season looks to be off and running for 212 Pro Luis Santa. Last weekend, the Big Recon leaked out a few candid new photos showing off the sort of skin splitting, muscle building, carb induced pump that every off season bodybuilder can only dream of. It was a relatively quiet year on stage for Santa, who only slapped on the posing trunks once to compete in the Phoenix Europa Pro which was the biggest and deepest non-Olympia 212 lineup of the season. From the front, Santa has the tools to give some people a run for their money. And if he can add some more thickness from the back to balance out his physique a bit, 2016 could be the year that Santa delivers his first top five finish. This year's rookie class was one of the most impressive in recent memory with nearly a dozen athletes stepping right in to make an immediate impact across the board. Although it's still a little early to start speculating on who might be the next big thing to rise up and take the world by storm, betting your money on 2014 British national champ Nathan Diasha seems to be a sure thing. It's almost like playing with house money. Late last week, Asher was spotted looking completely preposterous as he grinded through a brutal chest workout at the world-famous Oxygen Gym. Asher has the shape, structure, and enough quality muscle to make him someone to worry about. 
with his pro debut already set to take place at the 2016 Body Power Pro, it's only a matter of time before the rest of the bodybuilding world discovers what greatness lies ahead. Being a two-time defending men's physique Olympia champ is no easy task, but Jeremy Buendia seems to be handling things just fine. Over the weekend, Buendia was spotted hammering out some heavy shoulder presses in the gym as he grinds out another brutal off-season workout. Buendia's place in history is solidified in the men's physique division. But if he can show up in 2016 looking just as sharp as he was at last year's Olympia, there might not be anyone who can stand in the way of his inevitable three-peat. And that does it for yet another edition of Muscle in the Morning. Brought to you by Iron Mag Labs. Make your mark. Check out IronMagLabs.com today. I'm your host, Dave Palumbo, reminding you to always be true to your passion. And make sure to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Hey guys, it's Stevie B here. If you like what you're seeing, hit the subscribe button below and never miss another RX Muscle show, segment, or update. RX Muscle is number one. Woo!